Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to check your automatic transmission fluid. We're under the hood of my 1990 Chevrolet pickup truck, and it's very clearly marked that this is where the transmission fluid gets checked. Now you do not check it with the vehicle off. You actually check it with the vehicle running and warmed up to operating temperature. Now that the truck is warmed up to operating temperature and on a level surface, that part is important, I can check the automatic transmission fluid. On this truck, it has a locking dipstick, so you unlock it, you pull it out, clean it off, then reinsert it, make sure it seats all the way down, pull it out, and now you can take your reading. All right, you can see that my transmission fluid is only coming up to here, so it's low. It should be up here in this hot area. Not every transmission dipstick has this, a cold and a hot mark, but as I said, you want to check it when it's hot. So I should be up in this hashed area up in here. Now here's a little tip about when it's low. Usually in my experience, from here to here on the dipstick, so in other words from the bottom of this hot mark to the top, is only a half a quart of transmission fluid. So don't add a full quart if you're down here. You can add transmission fluid a little bit at a time, but if you put too much in, it's really difficult to get out. So only add a little bit at a time if you need more fluid. Now, not every procedure for checking automatic transmission fluid is the same. This Honda, for example, has something completely different. So instead of the engine running when you check the fluid on Hondas, the engine needs to be hot but off, but once again, needs to be on a level surface. Now, Hondas are not the only exception. There are as many exceptions out there as there are vehicles and vehicle manufacturers. The only way to truly be sure is to consult your owner's manual or the vehicle service manual. Now this Honda has a dipstick right down here in the front. It's colored yellow, but as stated, when you check Honda automatic transmission fluid, the engine has to be at operating temperature, but off and not running. This Honda's transmission fluid is right at the proper level, but it looks a little bit old and probably time for a change. Now there's another scenario that you may run into. In fact, if you have a modern vehicle, you're most likely going to run into this, and that is no dipstick at all. If you can't find the dipstick, consult your vehicle's owner's manual. It may be listed in there as a location, but on this vehicle, there isn't one listed and there isn't one available. Some automatic transmissions have inspection plugs on the side of the case and require special procedures in order to check and fill transmission fluid. Some automatic transmissions are completely sealed and not serviceable at all. Now I only showed you a few scenarios in this video. There are many different things that you may run into when you try to check the automatic transmission fluid in your vehicle. Therefore, I recommend you consult your owner's manual or better still, the service manual for your vehicle in order to properly check and maintain the fluid level in your automatic transmission. If you have automotive questions not covered in this video, I ask that you head to airatthecarguy.com. That will be linked in the description, along with additional information that may be helpful to you. I ask that you like, comment, subscribe, and do all those things that help make a living. Appreciate that very much. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and I will see you next time.